Hi everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to review the energy efficiency analysis of an internal combustion engine versus electric vehicle. Already in the previous session, I will leave you in the court. We had already done energy efficiency analysis of an IC engine at normal operating conditions, city driving conditions, as well as highway driving conditions. Now let's try to draw the graphs for the uh, different levels. So now you can see here, I'm going to take two graphs and on the X axis, I am marking the internal combustion engine powertrain efficiency. This is nothing but already we discussed what is meant by powertrain. So powertrain efficiency, powertrain means is nothing but uh, which consists of an uh, energy converter and energy source energy source is engine converter is nothing but uh, the transmitter okay so engine plus transmitter is nothing but powertrain efficiency and on the y axis you are going to have the plot of energy now let us assume this ic engine is having 100 percent of fuel okay so the amount of energy the tank is full which is nothing but 100 percent of fuel is available in the fuel tank so now with this 100 percent of energy already we have been discussed in different variants this engine is going to create some engine loss basically the basic uh, normal driving around 62 percentage i am considering this as now some 65 percentage so now we are going to have the losses due to engine so this engine itself is creating some loss and which is approximately 62 percentage okay so this red color one is nothing but the losses due to engine and i'm going to call this loss as uh, the engine losses or the mechanical losses which is approximately 62 percentage of the loss is available and in the remaining you can see this uh, diagram so 62 percent of uh, loss is available let's try to copy it and we can have more clarity this is a basic so let us try to see how these losses are there with respect to normal mode of operation so if you have this diagram only you can understand better this uh, characteristics so i am showing it to you again so here you can see here for this i am trying to draw so the total energy available in the fuel tank is 100 percentage and the loss due to engine which is nothing but uh, heating loss are 62 percentage and the vehicle is in ideal mode or standby mode it is going to create uh, around a loss of uh, 17 percentage so i am marking this uh, 17 percentage again here so this is going to create some loss and this loss i am going to call it as a stand by losses which is approximately 17 percentage and after the 17 percentage so this complete video is available in our channel please visit energy efficiency of an electric vehicle and ic engine and it comes to the drive line and it's going to have a drive line loss of mechanical loss is around six percentage so the next loss what you are going to have is a drive line losses so this drive line losses is around six percentage so this is the magnitude of the drive line losses okay and next the total amount of loss which are available here is only 15 so this 15 percentage is the loss at the complete drive line okay so this is nothing but the total this is nothing but effective energy available so this is the effective energy available to us so effective energy available at the shaft or at drive line is only 5 15 percentage in this 5 percentage around aerodynamic is around 5 percent loss rolling resistance is 5 percent loss and braking is also 5 percent loss this is how to draw a graph of 
power i mean efficiency as well as the energy in case of a normal ic engine now let's try to draw it for the one more one so which is nothing but we trying to draw it for electric vehicle so already we have electric vehicle let's try to draw for the electric vehicle so this is nothing but the losses at different levels so now let's try to draw it for electric vehicle so when you come here you can see how the losses are created and how different losses are there in an electric vehicle let us try to compare each individual so now i am going to have similarly the graph and on the x axis i am going to have electric vehicle power train efficiency so here also we have power train power train is nothing but energy source plus energy converter energy converter is nothing but the battery energy source is nothing but the battery and energy converter is nothing but the motor so let's try to analyze here so here we are going to have we are electric vehicle the complete energy available in the battery is 100 percentage okay so i'm trying to draw the graph so here how much amount of energy is available in the battery 100 percent of energy is available in the battery of 100 percent is available so again here it is going to have you can see here this battery is connected to the motor and this is going to constitute an electric loss of around 15 percentage i'm going to consider this or some take some 10 percentage only so it is going to create a loss of 10 percentage so the loss created due to motor loss which is nothing but uh, the hysteresis loss as well as eddy current loss and this loss we are going to call it as uh, the motor losses and this constitute uh, approximately 10 percentage and we have the drive line losses so when you come here this drive line is having some mechanical losses and this mechanical losses uh, we are going to consider as the drive line losses which is approximately 14 percentage so here you are going to have 14 percent of uh, drive line losses and now when you see here this is uh, 10 and 24 percent we are taking as the loss so in the total available 100 we are going to have 24 percent of the loss uh, then resultant it constitute uh, approximately 76 percent of efficiency is available at the drive line so you can see here so approximately we are going to have 76 percent of energy is available at the resultant drive line so you can see the graphs how it is uh, we have the different types of graphs so 10 percentage is due to hysteresis loss or eddy current loss and 14 percent are the mechanical loss which are available on electric vehicle and we have 76 percent of loss i mean 76 percent of energy is available at the drive line of an electric vehicle in this 76 percentage we are going to have number of losses due to road gradient so first one is we are going to have the aerodynamic loss so due to the aerodynamic structure of an electric vehicle we are going to have 29 percent of loss and rolling resistance is constituting 35 percentage and braking is constituting 11 percentage so now we can compare this is nothing but energy efficiency analysis of an internal combustion engine with respect to an electric vehicle so now we can see the compare both the characteristics which is having higher efficiency electric vehicles has higher efficiency and offering 76 percent of energy is available but in the case of an ic engine we have only 15 percentage is available that's how we are comparing an ic engine with respect to an electric vehicle in the two variants of operation so this is all about the energy efficiency analysis with respect to an a bar chart of representation if we have this so we can call it as a graphical representation so this is a graphical representation of efficiency versus energy okay so on the x-axis we are having efficiency of that ev 
efficiency of the IC on the y axis they are going to have the energy how much they are supplying at different parts of an IC engine and different parts of an electric vehicle. So what is best and you see the overall view the best is an electric vehicle around 76 approximately take it some 80 percentage 80 percent of energy is available at the drive line so which is an so what is the overall view is with respect to energy efficiencies EV are performing better than compared to that of an IC engine. This is all about uh, the energy efficiency analysis. Hope the content is useful. So whatever the remaining concepts are left, we can go through the previous uh, uh, chapters where you have different types of energy efficiency analysis of uh, IC engine and energy efficiency of electric vehicle. So hope the content is useful. We will meet in the next session. Thank you for watching.